How's it going guys? Jay Promoter here. So I'm here to do another video or another episode of USA versus Germany where I talk about three new topics of comparing USA and Germany. And if you guys have not seen my previous videos on USA versus Germany such as the round one and round two, I'll put the link down below so you guys can check them out and see what I have um, compared so far based on my experiences here in Germany and in the USA of course. But I'm here to do another one and hopefully you guys enjoy these three new topics that I'll be talking about. The three new topics I'll be talking about is military, police department, and last but not least, Ellen DeGeneres. I decided to throw in Ellen DeGeneres in the end, um, well in case you guys don't know who Ellen Dege DeGeneres is, I'll explain later, but I, those of you who do, I decided to throw Ellen DeGeneres in the end to kind of enlighten this episode because with the topic of military and police I know it could get a little political I guess or a little stressful so I wanted to enlighten the mood at the end by throwing in Ellen DeGeneres to make you guys not sad or depressed <laughs> so to start us off I'll be first talking about the topic of military comparing the United States military to the German military now first of all I have full respect towards both militaries to me being uh, in the US military or the German military is a huge sacrifice to defend one's country and that is I you have my full respect and my full support now in the US I've had the huge opportunity and honor to go to one of the Air Force bases in California I went to the Edwards Air Force Base for their air show and I was able to check out the the latest F-22 Raptor which was amazing um, because my dream if to let you guys know my dream was to become a pilot for the United States Air Force but I was not able to pursue that because I was actually 50 pounds over overweight then and so I worked on losing those 50 pounds but during that timeline my career path kind of changed towards computer science so now I'm a computer science major but anyway um, I was able to go to Edwards Air Force Base and I was able to meet a lot of soldiers and pilots and personnel uh, men and women in uniform and I was really really excited and I was really really truly honored I even checked out their air show from Edwards Air Force Base where they redid, red, they redid a whole scene of Pearl Harbor where they had the old jets fighting with the old Japanese jets which was really cool explosions were included of course and that was really awesome and then they did some demonstrations of what the F-16 can do, what the F-22 can do, what the C-17s can do and I was really really impressed. To me it was better than Disneyland in my opinion because like I said I was a huge military supporter. I am a huge military supporter and that was really really awesome. But those, that, that was years ago that a year later I actually checked out to see if there's another show happening at Edwards Air Force Base but for years now they haven't had any shows for people to come and check out what they do but that was an amazing time. I'll include some pictures um, in this vlog for you guys to check out. I was even able to touch an actual live missile and good thing it wasn't armed but people were able to touch it people were even able to to get into one of the jets and they were able to also check out some cargo planes it was really interactive and I was very very impressed that I could not wait to go back but sadly they did not do that again I think because they were busy with military activities so um, and Edwards Air Force Base is famous for their flight testing I think Edwards Air Force Base is one of the home, correct me, those of you in the US or military, correct me if I'm wrong, Edwards Air Force Base is one of the home to testing out the F-22 Raptor, which is the most advanced stealth fighter in the United States and maybe even in the world. That was actually my dream to fly in an F-22. My dream was to pilot the F-22 Raptor. The technology of it is just Phenomenal. Do you know that the F-22 Raptors afterburners is so technologically advanced that it is designed to be undetectable in radar and to become as silent as possible. That is 
But anyway, to compare, <laughs> going back to the topic of comparing the two countries, um, in the US, men and women in uniform is highly respected and supported by the citizens of USA. It doesn't matter what's going on in the government, the sacrifices those men and women give for their freedom is just phenomenal. There's no words to describe them. They are the brave, bravest and most respected men and women in US soil. As an example, hopefully some of you might be able to experience this whenever you go visit the US or whenever you just go to a United States airport. Whenever you see a man or a woman in uniform and you see them coming out of the airport, people that have no relations to them, just people sitting around waiting for their own family or friends, will start cheering, start clapping, start thanking them for their service. That's how much we support the US military. And to me, that is amazing. I really like that very much. Now here in Germany, it's a little bit different. Men and women in uniform are not as highly respected as they are in the US. Some people even look down on them, which I really don't like. So some people, military, going to the military is kind of like if you don't, if you're not going to any direction with your career, instead you go towards the military. And to some people that's what they think, so when they see someone in uniform here in Germany, they don't really show respect or support or anything like that as they do in the US. They kind of look down on them instead, which I really don't like. I hope they stop doing that because the sacrifices that these men and women do for Germany, it's absolutely phenomenal and, and they deserve all of the respect and support that they need plus more. So to the men and women of the United States military and German military, salute to all of you and thank you for your service and your sacrifices that you give these two countries. USA and Germany are huge allies for decades and you guys deserve the respect and support sky high from all the citizens of USA and Germany. So thank you to your service if you're in the military and be safe out there and I hope you guys come home soon if you guys are overseas. So after that little serious topic, I'll start talking about something a little bit more light, something a little bit more local, and they'll be about the police department. Now the police department in the US is highly respected as well. They are pretty much respected as highly as the US military. Some actually after serving in the US military, they go straight to law enforcement, to police department or to the SWAT team, which is really cool because they already have the extreme training from the US military and to start defending their local city is amazing. Now in comparison with the police department here in Germany, it's pretty much the same as it is, as it is in the US. They are highly respected and highly supported by the people of that city. And I'm sure the same thing happens here after serving in the German military. Some of them might even go to the local police department. And the Munich police department is actually one of the finest here in Germany. Not to, not to bring you guys back into a depressing time, but I don't know if you guys remember the shooting here in Munich in one of the malls. The response time and the organization of the Munich Police Department was incredible. They took charge and they took charge of the whole city and took care of the situation and they made sure that people were safe and were able to go back home. And finally, one of my all-time favorite moments of 2016 was talking to the First Lady Michelle o o Obama and uh, we, we went to the CVS uh, pharmacy together. How much of these? I'm just picking up stuff. What are you doing? I guess I'm just scratching you back. I'm trying to focus. Okay, here. Okay, I'm not really itchy. I am looking for headphones, though. What do you think? You think I just can you can you chill out on the itchy and help me with this here? Don't scratch him. You know, but this is this is not how you behave in CBS. 
stop scratching them. Oh no, it's your edges. Stop it. He likes it. It's <laughs> gonna do it. Did I feel good? Yes, it sure did. It was annoying to me. It's probably gonna get it cheaper. You Michelle, what kind of cream do you need for that rash that you were telling me about? <laughs> rash? <laughs> don't, don't tell people we about need a rash. cream for a rash that uh, Shelly has. Where is the rash? <laughs> what area were you telling me about? My shoulder. Mm, lower than that. Oh, no. Bernie Sanders. No. It's Halloween. Should we go back there? I thought it was, and it's not. No, it's no. It's not. It's not. It seems that didn't look like green. No, not at all. Not at all. No. So the last topic I'll be talking about is much more enlightening, if not maybe even the most joyous person you'll ever know. <laughs> and her name is Ellen DeGeneres. Now in the US, Ellen DeGeneres is known to be the person who enlightens everyone's day. I myself am a huge fan of Ellen D that I watch her show every day. She is a funny, incredible, who helps so many people every day by making them laugh, by making them dance, by helping them financially, by helping their career goals and in, and pretty much everything. She, she's an amazing woman that President Obama actually gave her a medal um, for her accomplishments and for what she does. And to me that is an incredible accomplishment. And moving here to Germany, I actually miss her. Because the Ellen Show is actually not being shown here in Germany on in TV. If, if it is, please let me know because I have not seen it and I really want to go back to watching her show because right now I'm stuck with YouTube on my iPad watching reruns of specific moments from her show. <laughs> but I really miss watching the Ellen Show and I know that for a while Ellen has been working on getting her show here in Europe and I have no idea if it is here in Germany but I hope that she'll be able to actually bring her show here in Germany as well so that people can start watching her show. One of the cool stories that I have with contacting Ellen was a few years ago before I started my university, I wanted to become an actor and so I needed help and I decided to contact Ellen DeGeneres to see if they could help out. And I sent her an email or a letter on her, from, from her website to her team or to herself, I'm not sure who I sent it to, but to the Ellen team and I told her that I wanted to become an actor and I need help to get my name out there. What do I do? How do I get started? And then all of a sudden, my email started blowing up with casting notice, with photographers, with agents and that was amazing. So I decided to contact one of the photographers to get my acting headshot and so I went to Burbank, got my headshot and the photographer actually pointed me to all these acting agents. And so before I went to one of the acting agents had to memorize all these monologues from movies and stuff. So finally I went to Beverly Hills and I met one of the acting agents to audition so that he would take me in. And I did my audition, I did my monologues, he liked it, he actually took me in and he became my actual acting agent. After that, he started getting me auditions in Burbank, LA, Beverly Hills, Hollywood, and I auditioned for all these commercials for these shows. And it was an incredible experience. I was able to meet a few actors that was pretty cool. And to be honest, that was the experience that made me comfortable in presentations, I guess, in standing in front of audiences or a crowd to talk in front of them. So I was very thankful for that. And Ellen, thank you. Anyways, hopefully you guys liked that round three of USA versus Germany. If you have not yet so, please subscribe to my channel. It would really, really, really help. And please hit that like button and share my videos. I like doing these videos for you guys. I like flying my drone for you guys. I like shooting vlogs for you guys. I like shooting this USA versus Germany for you guys. And I like answering all you guys' questions about traveling and about my experiences here in Germany. I really like replying to you guys and communicating and staying in touch with you guys. So please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, it will be an incredible help and please stay tuned this weekend is Easter weekend and I'll be bringing my drone to Kiesleg as promised from a few videos ago that I tried shooting with my drone but was not able to because it was raining so hopefully this week Easter weekend will be a much 
better day to fly my drone and I'll definitely be flying my drone to show you guys a, new, a different perspective of Germany, more nature side. So, vielen Dank für das Aufpassen und stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye!